What's up, guys? Pixel Rock or Shoe Hacking here, whichever one you go, whichever one you're gonna take me as. Well, I'm both of them because on Twitter I'm Pixel Rock. My name is Shirt. I mean, you guys aren't gonna know my real name. Just you know me in real life. But today I have two new pickups. Brown Nike Sportswear box and a reflective LeBron 10 box. But t about 20 days ago, no, not 20. Yeah, about yeah, 20 days ago. I put up the review of the Jordan 6 Retro the Olympics, and this is them now. So you'll see very minimal yellowing. Still, no creasing at all. Still in great condition. This is just a small portion of my collection. I have my beaters over here. I have my 2011 Hyperfuses. These are rock into the ground. But, you know, heel drag everywhere. They're not in that bad condition for being as old as they are. Sorry for my, my phone case didn't get time to get out of my room this morning, so. Yeah, it's morning. 25th, the restock day. I unfortunately lucked out. I did not luck out. Got booted off the website before I, I had it opened up. Woke up this morning at 9.30. It still had... The white cement threes in my size at like nine o'clock. Went to go on it. Got booted off. Shouts out to Nike for keeping their website clean. You guys do a great job over there letting everybody get their pairs. Everybody, every time you want to get a pair from Nike, you always got it on the release day. Just fucking you guys, they suck. They need to update their website or whatever it is to fix that, but. You can see LeBron X size 12, Brown Nike Box, Air Fantasy Pro size 10 and a half, just retail 220 clams. Uh, I just start, I just start the show because my internet hasn't been working recently. But yeah, let's get into the review. Just down here. LeBron X size 12. I think that's True Melon, University Red Fiberglass, in red fiberglass. As many of you guys know, this is a LeBron 10 cutting jade. I don't know why, but everybody seems to not like this shoe. Again, I'm not going to be a hype beast. I'm not going to go with what everybody says. And cop these because they're one of my favorite LeBron. I'll do just a quick review on these because this is mostly a short pickup video. Actually, no, never mind. I'll just make this a full review video for these shoes. And the foam's over there. So get that off the head so it doesn't squish the box. Bottom, translucent green, going down to the red X. That red X really pops on this. Can't see it when you're like that, but whatever. Got the red LJ outlined in black. There are some signs of dirt on them, like right there. That's only because I have worn these three or four times outside. I haven't worn them today. Because it's some crappy weather out. So I'm not going to ruin the shoes. I'm not going to ruin a nice pair of shoes that I like by doing that. Sorry, I just had to like rehandle the shoes and I'm over here. Anyway, 360 air unit. It's transparent, more or less. You can see my hand on the other side. It's red acupuncture. Let's support it. Outsole all right here. Black with speckles of red. And that is a huge outsole. Let me grab my fours. But yeah, we can see the difference in the outsoles coming up from right there. It is a huge difference. You have half my finger length of foam right there. Right here. I can't even get past my nail. I'll be putting it for review of these soon. So I can see with all these. But yeah. Still have the receipt. Got all the fi got the entire fiberglass 
upper with some ventilation right there. Going through the going through to the dynamic CP flywire, which I think is a great addition by Nike. Let's get that in a shot right there. On the inside, I have a white swoosh, just accented in more white, just white on white. Flywire peeping through right there. The cutting jade. I don't know what that's called, it's like a stamp or something like that, I don't know, if you guys know, put it in the comments, but let's go on to the inside of the shoe, oh, I ain't no part of that, right here, black swoosh outlined in red, on the tongue, some more jade graphics with the fiberglass LJ, and it looks to be, not a line, but whatever, uh, Chinese guy making shoes, Chiseled LJ, another J graphic. Looks like that all on the inside of this shoe. Real dope shoe. One, oh, we got the red roll laces, black specs on them. Huge fan of these kicks. One of my favorite. Let me get a quick review of the box. It takes two seconds. This side, reflective X. This side, reflective swoosh. This side, reflective X. Top side. Reflective crown LJ. This side, size tags and stuff. This side, all the Nike logo. What did you see? What you saw? Because I bought these from a friend for one hundred and seventy dollars. He didn't really like them. Let him go for cheap. Shout out to him. On to the second pair. Crimson foams. Give you guys the colorway real quick. Nike Air Foam Positive Pro. Metallic platinum, black, and bright crimson, size so two and a half. Retail is two twenty. I know I'm from Massachusetts, but got these at UBIQ in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on August thirty first, twenty twelve, at eleven o three. Spent two twenty, no tax on it. You guys can follow them on Facebook and Twitter and contact them in their, in their website. Right there. Right in the shot. There we go. Well, anyway, let's get into these foams. I know I bought them a year ago. Whatever. I haven't gotten around to making a review of them yet. Brown Nike box. All the sportswear logos on here. And yeah, so this isn't going to take too much time, but I will just give a more detailed review of these. Silver foam posit upper, crimson swoosh right here, going up to the crimson lining. I know it looks orange on camera, but in real life it is definitely a crimson, definitely bright crimson at that too. Inside of the pull tab right here. Black on the back, white swoosh outlined in red. Got like a what is that velvet kind of material? It's not really velvet, but it's soft and stuff. I like it, it's comfortable. In the back here, it says foam posit. And the other one, foam posit. These shoes are the exact same thing, no differences. Black swoosh, all black nubuck. Got that night rider. Shouts out to Foamy for using these creative words. Black fat laces. That Rick Ross. And on the bottom, some kind of a, it's more of a red, but you could count it as a crimson too. It's crimson, but these, these look white on camera, but they are a cream color. It is cream support, like, got the herringbone traction right here. One pod, two pod, three pods, four, five, six, and seven. Look at the swoosh right here, it looks good like that, but when you hold up to the camera, it looks, it looks good like that. On the other side, it, it's like the pewters, but it doesn't shine as bright. Got the carbon fiber hint right here, and on the bottom as well, and the big carbon fiber hint right here. So this has been Shoe Hefner, and kicked from... Twitter, Nike, and Twitter, YouTube, 
Facebook follow me. Peace.